Now, WCPO has stayed on top of DeMar Hamlin's situation since he went down during Monday night football. We all watched in disbelief as he collapsed and was rushed to the hospital. Metro Nashville police are filling in the timeline from when the 28-year-old shooter arrived to Covenant School to when officers found them and killed them. This game was really a tale of two halves with Kansas City pretty much dominating the first. At halftime, the Bengals trailed 13-6. I-471 is finally back open tonight after a serious crash shut it down for hours. Danny Graves' own son will be the one doing that. Danny, I know that you are so excited to be here as a Reds great. How does it feel to have that uh, tradition with your kid? We've got WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Buganski live at the scene. And Brett, you're hearing a lot of yelling and you're also hearing police calling someone's name. Ev, we're starting with you. A lot of rumors have been flying about Hamlin's status, but you're getting a little bit more clarity on his condition. In the meantime, we're checking in with Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh, who told you about this yesterday. Steve, when can the girls put away their scrunchies? Because it's a bad hair day all around. 